everybody, it's Robin from Talks from the Heart. I just filmed a haul video, so I'm going to pull this aside. And um, you'll see the haul video before you see this video that I'm filming right now. But you guys, cool stuff, man. Happy Scrappy has magnetic charms, and they're so cute. So if you like, like the more cutesy side of things, I think those are an adorable choice. All right, so we're going to talk, and I'm going to catch up with you on my DIY Take a Note um, planner that I started a while ago. I'm just going to straighten. We're going to hang out together, and I'm going to do a full flip. I am mostly caught up. This is happenings of my everyday life, and I really feel like there's nothing in here at this point that is so private that I I can't show on the internet. And and the reason is, is it's just my daily doings. You'll see a lot of, I took a nap and I got groceries. Goodness. I, you know, and I've been reflecting back as I've backlogged this. So um, actually I should tell you first that I was in a um, paper test designs, the yearly notebook, the full edition, and it's the B6, and it's where I was using this as my daily diary, and it's where you have, hang on, 26. You have a month at a glance, okay? And then, and it's gorgeous paper, it's Samoy River paper. You have a month in advance, and then you have um, like a, an overview double spread, okay? And then you have um, a horizontal weekly where you've got a big box here that you can decorate. You've got a column here that you can use as to-do list or quote, whatever. And then you've got each day of the week, Monday through Sunday. So I did not, and the, oh, and then I should say you have then one full page. And I do think she offers this layout in different sizes. This was the very first paper test design order that I placed with her ever, so. You do have a page for each day of the week. So Monday, then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then it starts over again if you're in the same month. Now, I was using this as a daily diary. I had no use for the monthlies. Oh, and then the front. The front I just decorated. So, but you know, that's not what we're here for. So the, um, the, the monthlies, I just kind of put my mood for the day. I didn't really have any use for them. I really just wanted the daily diary um, page for the day of the week. I tried different things with this. It wasn't working. I, you know, I didn't hate it, but I wasn't in love with it. And I wasn't excited to go into it every day. It was kind of, it wasn't a chore. It was just kind of something that I you know, that I decided to do. And then at one point I'm like, I'm committing to this and I'm bearing down and I'm not going to quit. And then, um, I saw, uh, is it Becky at oops, I did it again, co. And she does take a note. And I, w I was watching her videos on take a note and I'm like, gosh, I just love that layout. I love how wide it is. I love that there's enough space. And so I looked to see if I could buy it and I, I'm going to shut this now because I'm, I'm going to retire this. Bye-bye. And I tried to find the Take a Note and the A5 to purchase it, because I thought, oh, I want that, you know, and you know how it goes. And I, you know, sometimes when you can't find something, then it forces you to be creative. And so I took an A5 Stalogy, you guys, and I created my, well, actually, I recycled the A5 Stalogy that I started the year with that I didn't connect because I was trying to make my own Hobonichi cousin without the weeks. So I just had the monthly layouts. So this is all decorated to the nines because it was where I started for the whole year. But I had the monthly layouts and then I just skipped the weeks and just created my dailies. And I, I didn't connect with it at all. I did not like it at all. And I put a lot of work into it. So I shelved it. And when this lack of, I could not purchase an actual take a note planner, I pulled this out and I created my own take a note. And I'm struggling with um, 
the decision as to whether or not I want to buy an actual take a note. If you guys have a take a note planner and you're like, yep, it's worth the money, please let me know below. Now, um, so what I did was I buy stencils from Kathy's Planning and she's on Etsy. She has really, really strong, um, very, very nice stencils. So I had some A5 stencils that um, I purchased from her. And I like stencils because you always have them. <laughs> they don't go away. So I have a lot of different layout choices for stencils from Kathy's Planning. She is in Germany, so I'm going to say you guys are going to be a little taken aback maybe by the shipping. But I will tell you that um, her shipping is quick. Her customer service is great. And um, the product is fabulous. So you know what? Once and done, you guys. Buy it right the first time is what I say. So I pulled this out from the shelf. And I whited out all the stuff that I didn't want in here because now I just log the weather, which is what I do in the morning on my personal rings, okay? And then what I did was, we're going to do a flip. What I did was, is I went, I went in the back and literally the take a note has one column here that's for this week and then a line, the date which um, a lot of people white out and put a sticker, another line, a line, a line. I mean, you guys, it's a book full of lines. I know it's probably better paper. I know. Okay, I'm not sure where I was. My vet called because I wanted to talk to him, talk to her about Cooper and just like some exertion issues because um, she discovered a small heart murmur in him the last visit and I just need to be mindful of that. So I'm not very schooled with that, <clears throat> but she was very helpful. I have a, an amazing vet. And so what I did was I just started at the point, um, I didn't back plan it for the whole year. I didn't start at January when I started this. I started in April, April 1st because I thought, well, I'm gonna do April, see how it goes, see if I like it. And I did April, May, and June, and I loved it. So this has been a very um, project of uh, labor of love, because <laughs> I ended up going back and doing January, February, and March. This spread is a situation where I was also going, clearing, kind of clearing out my planner room, and I was going through all these vertical kits I have, and I thought, because a lot of people, when they decorate their take a note in the A5, they use like just deco sheets and I'm out of those and I didn't want to spend new money. And so I thought, well, could I use vertical sticker kits? And so I tried it and it looks pretty okay. So I was able to use up a lot of my vertical sticker kits. And so we're going to start in January and then go back to the beginning of the book where I started April. And I actually have, and I will show you this because if you have a stylogy that has maybe some of the pages used up, I was able to do the entire year with this many pages left. So there's plenty of space because you're not using a page a day. All right, so what I did was I also went through my vellum and started using up my vellum. In January, I used all Winnie the Pooh stickers because I had this Happy Planner um, Pooh sticker kit. And I thought, I'm just going to have a theme going here for January. If I didn't journal much, I just filled it with stickers. I just love it. And it's the easiest planner to create. And so I just kept going and I just love how it turned out and so then I have February again just added some vellum I'm probably gonna go in and add some like deco stickers or something later but I just love the fact that I have empty space that I can be creative in the future and um, just be okay with it so I have February and here I use Southern Bell plans and yeah that was all Southern Bell plans. I started pulling out some washi that I thought would match. Um, this is Planning with K. Both those shops I really, really like. And at this point, I just, I'm out of money to spend. So this is simply Gilded Washi with Planning with K. Love that little woodsland. 
And then again, planning with K was simply gilded washi, and you can see it's just turning out great. Some more, I think this is big box store vellum. So this is March. And here, I just really don't use the this week, so I just covered it with washi. This is all planning with K, a gorgeous collection. And then these are stickers from Timu, along with some planning with K and some um, simply gilded washi. And here I just cut the sticker in half. Oh, I just love, I just love those. Beautiful, beautiful. I also don't worry about if the whole column is filled out. And then here's where, after I tested this, because I ran out of these type of deco stickers, after I tested this, then I realized, you know what, I'm gonna go for it. So then I used, um, I think, still, oh, this is a UK shop, Stick It Pretty? No. Oh, you guys, I'm so sorry. But then the um, that's the end of March. So let's go back to the front. And this is a Vanderspeck undyed. And I just have some miscellaneous things in here. I also have some sticker kits. I like, I'm liking now, I'm going to say I used to keep these in pouches. And now I like sticker kits in the planner where I'm going to use them. And I will tell you, this is a really good example. This is a journaling kit on transparent matte from Raspberry Designs. And this right here would do you good for just one week in um, this type of layout. So I pulled out all this stuff that was buried in my stash and I have it ready there. Um, I actually found this after I um, used up all the, well, I didn't use, I still have more sticker kits, you guys. It's just um, crazy. So these are all Pookie Bear Cuties. The vinyl was made by my friend Heather at Planner Mumsy. Um, Oki Plans, Krell's Creations. So these were all put in here before I decided to make it a pseudo take a note planner. Uh, Sweet Quiet Designs, Krell's, Pookie, and then packaging labels, Krell's, Oki, and Pookie. <laughs> I should make a rap song with that stuff. Let's see, what what can I do off the cuff? Krells, Pookie, Oki, Oki, Pookie, Krells, Kwai. I don't know. You guys know that is not where I shine. <laughs> I do not shine in the musical area. Okay. Um, Krells, Kawaii, Sweet Kawaii. Um, and then some more Krells, Krells, and Oki. <laughs> you know, when I laugh, I'm kind of laughing because I'm embarrassed because I just, I'm just a goofball. So this is Oki Plans. Oki Plans, you can kind of tell by the bow. And then I just um, have some bow stickers from Forever Ago. Don't know where they came from. And I just cover up the month. And I decided since I was covering up May and June is almost finished, I just take care of business there. Um... Again, this is Pookie, Oki, and Krells. And then this is a stencil. And then the scripts are from um, Pookie. Can you guys see? Okay, hang on. Let me let me get straight up and down. Okay. All righty. <laughs> These dividers are from, and a lot of this stuff has been recycled and doesn't look picture perfect, but I'm okay with it. So these are, um, I ordered January, February, and March, so I decided to implement them. They're from Oki. And then again, I use my stencil and just miscellaneous stickers. Um, let's see, Mitt sent this to me. Mitt sent this to me. And then these are from, um, these are from Sweet Quiet Designs. And then I just add stickers wherever I feel like they fit. I just, if I have an extra one on a sheet, I'll just start hunting for a blank space and then I just start adding it. So these butterflies are from a happy planner. These, um, now this is from journaling home. It was a gift from Nessie. I think she probably printed extra or something. And then same here, journaling home. Um, oh, this is from Pookie Bear Beauty. Oh my God, she's going to kill me. Pookie Bear Cuties, not Pookie Bear Pooties. Um, she was going to consider uh, launching vellum, and then I th think she lost steam. I don't know. <laughs> but she sent me a sample. And then now we're into months where, obviously, I will fill in the weather once that's happened. If you guys want to see a video of, like, my weekly 
my monthly and my quarterly um, habits or planner routines, you, let me know. Um, okay. Um, my gosh. Tasia Krells. So Tasia Christine. <laughs> This is from Hobby Lobby, and these are just pages that I couldn't white out when I was using it as a Hobonichi cousin. And so Krell's, Krell's Pookie, and Sweet Quiet Designs Washi. And I just decided to cover them up with journaling cards. Um, vellum from Pookie, a big jumbo sticker from Pookie. Or no, that's Vellum. She printed out. This is my favorite image from her. I love it so much. So yeah, these are all pages that I just needed to fill. Journaling home, journaling home from Nessie, a gift. Journaling home, a gift. Cardstock that was a gift. I think this was Planner Anonymous, and I think it was from Nina. Hi, Nina. <laughs> um, okay, I did a whole page, um, Happy Planner. And then I covered this up. This was vellum, and I decided to just cover up the page with the vellum. I like that. I like it. And then just some stickers. I have month stickers from everywhere. All right, here we go. So, um, again, this is Happy Planner, Happy Planner. But then this whole month was a subscription box from LV Planning Co. You guys, her monthly Krell's Creations, because I ran out of like stuff like this. Her monthly subscription box can cover a whole month pretty pretty nicely so this is all of april with just a pinch of krell's creation washi tape and um oh, i loved this kit and i wish that my um situation was different where i could afford to continue with that but i can't so um yeah beautiful stuff i actually did place an order from her a while back and it's still on the um, list to be printed i'm sure so this is cardstock. This is big box Joann's. I got this at Joann's. This, um, and then I just tipped it in for May. I like that I can just do whatever I want for the um, monthly cover sheets. And then LV Planning Co. I used the sub box for the entire month of May. And it was gorgeous. I like when it's all encompassing like that. I really do. It just makes, it just relaxes me. Of course, I love everything. Who am I kidding? So that was May. And then this is June. This is from um, Sterling Inc. It was old. I had it forever. And then there's my cover page, which, you know, I'll go in, like I said. Maybe I could watercolor this and add a big sticker. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, this is from Busy Bee Planners. And I know filming right now, she's going to have a big sale coming up. And then also, if you say Nessie in the comments, she'll get another freebie. She also has a Facebook group that you also will get a freebie. I love this kit. I loved it so much. So pretty. She has some really cool stuff. And then this is Raspberry Designs, one of those journaling kits. And it this was just one whole kit like I just showed you. And it was the whole week. Same here. And Raspberry Designs, you guys, run some serious deep sales. Like, I think I got this stuff when it was 40% off, and I just stocked up. So, um, okay, so then we're Raspberry Designs, and I love this kind of, like, edgy washi. And then July, again, more vellum that I just decided to recycle, or not recycle, just use up. And so now let's get into July. So what I've done is I have pre-decorated almost the entire year, which actually helps me feel relaxed. Um, so this is all that forest, Krell's, or not Krell's Creation, Planning with K. And I have a code. You guys, I can we just have a moment? Look at this. Is that not gorgeous? That is just gorgeous. Um, oh, I just love it so much. So very, um, a shop with very top quality and just gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. Look at the little turtle, the pumpkin heads. Oh my gosh. I just saw, did I just see a video on YouTube where somebody had an otter and they kept him in the house and it was so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, so can't remember. Pretty cute planner. So, um, so these are some of my um, vertical kits that I'm just using up, you guys. Simply Gilded. And I'm really proud of myself. All right, so wait, July? No. Okay, so this, oh, wah, Josephine Bow Designs. These were kits I was hoarding that I was afraid to use, and I thought, screw it, I'm using them. So that's a whole vertical kit from Josephine Bow Designs. 
do not have a code for her and uh, I'll, I'll tell you her stuff is is in my opinion expensive but the quality is through the roof through the roof it's gorgeous stuff so it's worth the money um this is gorgeous look at how pretty that is all right so here's the month of august again some um sterling ink this is scribble prints co one of her birthday kits and my birthday is august 11th so i decided to use up the birthday kit that i was hoarding for my birthday and i like it because it's daisies you see that there we go i always think the light is off while i'm filming and then i go to editing and it's just fine so i decided to use in the month of august worship robin month <laughs> such a goofball um i decided to use all these gorgeous josephine bow design foil kits that i have been hoarding and oh, aren't they beautiful they're just gorgeous oh that butterfly kit they're gone now they're in my planner they're in my daily diary planner and i'm gonna just thoroughly enjoy them look at this daisy one so pretty so pretty and then I have, all right, Cooper rang, rang his potty bell. You might've heard that, so I had to let him out. So this is September. I think I got this at Hobby Lobby. And then this is how I organize myself. I just, this is the week of a nine, two to nine, eight. And I got pooped with decorating. I got, I got, I got to the point at the end of August where I was just slapping them down and I'm like, okay, I'm done. And so let's see, but I have more pre-decorated here. Let's see where we're going here. October cover page. Oh yeah, and then I started using some vertical kits from Raspberry Designs. She has, and I like when she does the vertical kit, then she offers the journaling kit and you can choose your paper too, which is really nice. Um, where is this from? Raspberry Designs. Isn't it weird how, like, I can go into a room and forget why I'm in there, or I can, like, totally forget, um, you know, like, if somebody introduces themselves to me, you know, an hour later, I'm like, oh, shoot, what was their name? But I can look at a sticker kit, and I can, <laughs> I can tell you the shop it's from, and I bought it, like, two years ago. <laughs> like, what's up with that? Okay, so, yeah, Raspberry Designs. Raspberry Designs. <sighs> yeah. Oh, this one's gorgeous. Raspberry Designs. I think. No, this is Nicole Alexia Designs. <laughs> yep, this is. I knew something was off because Raspberry Designs does um, more narrow bottom washi. And I knew this these date covers weren't Raspberry Designs. Yep, Nicole Alexia Designs. And look, a little pumpkin hand, the little doggy. Um, okay, and then Cooper's birthday week. His birthday is October 28th. And this is from Wild Summer Designs. She has great sales too. And she has Facebook um, discount codes, I think. I don't know. I haven't purchased from her in forever. I should probably visit her site and see what's going on. Um, okay. Think, Robin. Think. Raspberry Designs. I can tell by the washi. Then we're going into November, and I don't think I did anything in no. Oh, yeah, I did. Cause this is Pookie Bear Cuties. I love this kit with the oranges and the pinks and the browns. So pretty. And I like, too, how this column um, is this week, and I can just use it to just be creative and use up the extra stickers in the kit. And then we're into the December, and I... I have not, I have to pull out my um, December stickers and kits and use up what I have. And I want to do that before the um, Christmas stickers start coming out because you know I'm going to get suckered. You know it. And then we're all the way to the end. And then we're back to January. So, okay, you guys, I hope you had fun. Yeah, vote below. Tell me what you think. It oh, Only if you have the uh, take a note planner. I mean, tell me if it's worth the money or if I should just make my own because I'm so far ahead of the game on stuff that um I, I have time 
but I don't know. Sometimes dating a planner just sucks. It's just so much work. So, all right, so that's it. And I've also been using my Twisby Eco in the ro black and the rose gold. And I just pop it right there. It's a fine nib. And I like how it writes in the columns. And I, you guys, you can see by some of the pages, the columns are plenty big enough for what I need. So why is this not snapping? What's happening? Oh, okay, there we go. All right, thanks you guys so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and always enjoy today. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.